Hello everyone, today is 1st July 2022. I am standing next to this pink Asiatic lily. I have two more pink bloom which I saw yesterday and see where it is next to this blackberry. And see the butterfly weed. See this uh, climbing new dawn climbing rose. All the blooms uh, are dried, petals are gone. This is part of garden. So this is a week where all the blooms are <laughs> vanished. Still I thought I should show you. Just to understand nothing stays forever. This is the autumn jade sedum. You see this is my second red knockout rose. All blooms dried. This is the red, um, this is uh, tiger uh, daylily. Because there isn't enough water, see this bloom. This is a big leaf hydrangea. So they are desperate to get some water. Uh, I think either in the night or tomorrow morning it will rain. Then just let me show you few plants that I did not show you. This is um, vanilla strawberry hydrangea. See the center branch, how tall it became. So nearly it looks like it is already seven feet. And then myelinium onion, sugartina crystallina some mixed blooms this yellow yarrow daisy see i believe this is asiatic lily One cosmos already bloomed. More Asiatic lily. So these are few um, sunflower and cosmos I transplanted. In a month, you will see a very big change here. That's why I thought, let me show you. There are not a lot of blooms, but you will see soon. See? This is also... I think one Asiatic lily or if some other then I am not sure because as I told you it is a mixed uh, group. This is Asiatic lily and the blooms are smaller. So maybe it is a intermediate between I mean some trumpet or something. See this Sasta Daisy close to the Wisteria. Here another uh, Sasta Daisy. 
and now i am on the other side of the wisteria close to those i will show you the those blooms little update on this area uh, i am standing under this uh, honey crisp apple because today the lawn mower came and they mowed the lawn that's why i had to remove all those sovel and all those things i i i kept here but i had to shift before they came um, yeah, around i think 11 am in the morning so i shifted those they look ugly i'm sorry but that is also part of the garden so coming it up here that i planted here so yesterday day before yesterday i planted yes that day also i watered a lot yesterday also i watered a lot only now i am not watering i have to go somewhere and um, it will rain also so this is also i watered a lot past two days because it was very very hot and i wanted the roots to be uh, absorbed by water that is the very, that is very important thing when we plant a big i mean uh, a, a plant who has a lot of roots so because we disturb the roots we have to make sure that um, they are well watered this is the pink uh, peony pink ita peony so they look healthy see this also you can see what are the blooms happened happened so and here is a few um orange uh, marigold i had sown seeds and they already started blooming i had um these uh, pumpkin i had sowed few seeds in the um, somewhere there and i transplanted two there one here so that i can i have enough space for them to spread their one branches and here uh, this is also i had sown purple uh, leaf um, basil 
I thinned them out. I mean, a uh, few I transplanted somewhere else. I came to show you uh, these blooms and now I am seeing these apples. Uh, this is Gala apple. So see, one, two and two here. Here I think there are three variety of uh, rudabekia. You see, this is one, this is two, this is three. many more birds uh, still waiting to open so we can see more more blooms this is my blueberry plant few blueberry and this is the third um, grape vine and this is next to this gala apple a lot of cosmos Behind this spiria line also, I had sown some orange marigold. So, I am standing in my new hydrangea hedge border. See, on which side? That is the gala apple, zebra grass, the multi-layered uh, magenta color hardy hibiscus. So, this is the, this and uh, vanilla strawberry hydrangea so there are so many birds they are ready to bloom then this is the daily row that is the bobo hydrangea daily vanilla strawberry daily so if you can see they chopped this one another day lily another day lily another bobo hydrangea exactly behind the wisteria so this is the center see the hedge hydrangea hedge so what i mean is lot of birds ready so they are very healthy plants. All these hydrangea are from Home Depot. Another vanilla strawberry. Another bobo hydrangea. And this and um, vanilla strawberry. So now see the hedge. And because they left those, now they are jungle. This is this side um, daily. I see some birds. So in this row of daily, only this one bloomed. Uh, peachy pink. I had shared with you the blooms. So I saw only these uh, blo blooms of this plant, not the other. And I had my pink yarn. You can see how it is. So anyway, uh, because it is, I am in the construction phase, so it will look like that. But uh, after three years, definitely all these will be more structured, cleaned, and this hedge will look beautiful. Now, like I have dumped my mulch bag, it's still there. I brought a new soil bag I left there because I wanted to uh, plant uh, two uh, rows on both sides of this um, yellow bard magnolia so 
I made someone dig hole because it is very hard to dig. So that is one hole. That is one hole. That is one hole. I already planted that. Um, I forgot the name. So that plant already I planted. So same distance from the magnolia is that uh, hole. So I mean the distance between that hole and the magnolia is the same distance of that spot and that spot too. So I have two pink um, floribunda. You can see like bunch of blooms, uh, bloom in the um, tip of each branch. So I have to. I am planning to plant one on this side, one on the other side, so that if they need more space, they will be occupied. So finally, either I have to cover these four plants and then make a boundary. So I'll do that slowly. But right now, just see, I already uh, planted this. I forgot the name. It's a beautiful plant, white white blooms, like spike kind of, very pretty one. So that is just I wanted, and yeah, my husband helped me to remove those branches from the lawn. So that job is done. So in my experience, uh, in my June six, the month of June is little hard, which we already passed and um, because hardly it rains and i have so many plants that i cannot water them so only when i plant newly a plant uh, then only i water um, water them the first two weeks or the first month i make sure they are getting water otherwise it's very difficult uh, i mean i wait for the rain <laughs> and when I see the weather channel that it is hardly going to rain then I come and I water. So I am standing here to show you this is my um, Burbank plum. Burbank plum you can see they are uh, baby leaves which looks maroon so it looks like it survived. I am very happy with that. And uh, I think if you see the blooms these color guard yucca blooms they are on the ground i think maybe the lawnmower shaked the branch or something happened and uh, they are desperate to get some water that's why also they are they look like they are closing they are not properly opened today it was very very hot so um, just remember how it is looking because when they will get water i'm sure these blooms will look fresh then uh, this is a pink um, color uh, blooming uh, hardy hibiscus i planted i think three years ago um, and last year last to last year also it bloomed but this year i was not seeing anything so all the branches looked dead and i was thinking maybe it died but see it did not all these new branches came so it survived now i'm standing uh, next to my this budalea butterfly bush so see they have already started blooming so pretty color i will stop today's video here in our town today they are doing the fireworks so i have to get ready and go for the kids Thank you for watching.